Uh, Patrick, just I guess a few days in, how, how do you see the guys, you know, starting to adjust to some of the changes you're making system-wise? I like it. I mean, I, I um, every day, I mean, I, I feel like we're progressing in, in what we're trying to do. Um, nothing negative for what was done in the past. Um, it's just that I have a different approach, a different ways to, to play the game. So I think the guys are buying into it. I mean, um, I was just trying to go baby step at the beginning, you know, uh, second quick, and then teach that the first day. Today we had more into we had more to our structure, but overall I see some changes in the last game. Which I yesterday we we took the time to um, to watch the game. I mean we started at nine nine thirty and we finish at at, at three thirty. So we took our time and and we really want to make sure we go details and details and. And continue to, to, as a coaching staff, I mean, you know, uh, learning about our team and, and what we're looking to do uh, as a for the for the players. Well, what was the thought behind, you know, spending yesterday watching watching video instead of be, being on the ice? I mean, that seems like a, a pretty just it's, deliberate it's, thing. It's just I had a good conversation with Anders after the game. Um, I think there was a lot of emotions. Um, I mean, uh, the team played in um, Minnesota, and then they had to travel to Winnipeg. Um, they had to come back here. They had to go in Chicago. They, they stay over Chicago. They came in, and then the new coach came in, and then we had that morning skate. So I, I think they deserve to, to spend the day with their family. I mean, there, there's a life outside of hockey, and, and I think these guys, I mean, deserve that that day uh, to you know ref, to to be fresh for today's morning skate, and um, and I, I was I was very happy to do it for them. Like I said the other day, the first thing we want to do is fix the breakout and fix the um, uh, the D zone coverage. But as soon as you you start seeing progression, it's time for us to go to another level. But I mean, these are NHL guys. This is a really good group. They 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 bound really well together, and and they they love to play together. So I feel like they're fast learner. I mean, they they adjust well, and I mean the things that I try to do. I mean, they're just different to what. But at some point in their career, I'm sure they they went through that as well. So it's it's more adjustment, I would say, for them. But I mean, um, and 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 I love use the practice, the practices to. To, to work with the guys on the detail. I mean, I was not the guy that was in the best shape. So I had to, I had to use the practice to get in shape, but also play it like a game. And, 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 and then I get used to that. So that's what I'm trying to do. I feel like every time we're on, on the ice for practice, we need to practice like we're gonna play our games. Not you, especially if you don't, you're limited in your number of practices. So we wanna make sure that the details are perfect. We want to make sure. But like I said to them today, I, I don't want them to like the coaching staff because we let them do what they want. I want them to like the coaching staff because they believe we're going to make this our team better. And that's what I want.